few things not pictured on the website anywhere, and this is one of them. There's a little group of paper in the Rhode Island the Almanac from 1859 and some old uh, deeds. A New York newspaper from 1869, New York Tribune. That is a single sheet. Front and back and opens up twice more. So it's a big sheet. Uh, pretty cool little watercolor here, the Bullfighter. The Herbarium book is very cool. Those are all specimens that were pressed and then the information about them. That's a pretty cool book. Silver, silver, silver! Coin silver, sterling silver, German silver, Russian piece or two. Uh, we kind of got the boxes labeled, 7.3 ounces of Detroit this, with the uh, coin silver. There is one St. Louis piece in the coin silver box. There's some neat odds and ends in that box of silver. It's mainly a bunch of souvenir. A little group of silver right there. We'll probably sell those four together. So the knife rests are not silver, but they're good-looking Victorian era pieces. The uh, I think it's a perfumer in the back there is Russian, stamped 8-4. Tea Caddy of Sterling. A lot of Sterling little sewing pieces. There's a little uh, nutmeg. Actually, has a sewing kit inside of it. This piece here is super sweet. Enameled Sterling with a glass perfume bottle inside. Pretty wonderful. That little flat hand fan shaped piece is Sterling. I think it's a talcum powder dispenser. Those three pieces are sterling. There's a couple of sterling thimbles in there, a couple of needle cases, and a really cool pin cushion in that box. Love the carved ivory handled rattle in the back there, and the little carved ivory bust is super sweet. Those are plated sets, but still very nice. And a big knife and fork. Looks like a seafood type set, 12 uh, forks and 12 knives. Some silver again and again. Uh, some more like just neat little odds and ends in silver there. 98 piece set of Gorham Greenbrier. I think it was 95 ounces. Troy ounces. In the upright case, beautiful Art Deco amber and clear decanter set. I think it's in excellent condition. The, the leak. Probably 1940s or 50s bird. It has no paper label on there, made in France. Uh, this is pretty cool. There's two pieces there. The uh, top one is a bridge counter, Sterling. See the lorgnettes and the uh, depth she go with, actually, the uh, opera glasses. Halcyon Days boxes. See more lorgnettes there. I'll go on the back side and show you. Beautiful pieces here, great frame, pointed out porcelain. That is a micro mosaic, the butterfly. Take a close look at that. Uh, it's a wonderful, stunning piece of work. It looks like a print almost, it's so well done. The canter set is phenomenal. It's a silver plate frame, the tags are sterling, amber cut to clear. Figural napkin rings. Here's the 1930s, 40s Mexican in style jewelry, a lot of bracelets. But look at those. I mean, that's kind of a wonderful selection, if you ask me. Great little miniature dolls, porcelain dolls. <laughs> little Tootsie Toy set is just about perfect, and it has the hand doll, uh, or the towel rack. How can you see that? We'll sell the, the purple platform sink with it, although it's iron. It's just, we'll sell it with it because it's the only one. Uh, make sure you take the time to look through the boxes there are odds and ends in every one of them that are pretty wonderful great little group of hat pins those two little pins there are both gold more dollhouse the clock sewing basket and the lamp I think are both stamped Germany she is fantastic little carved ivory round piece Victorian 14 karat gold cuff bracelets wonderful Little pocket watch was found inside of a toy. Uh, 14 karat gold and diamonds Hamilton watch. Pair of earrings in the middle is, Pic is Tiffany, designed by Paloma Picasso, and I think in 1983. That pair of earrings there, which will not photograph worth a darn, are marked silver and they're enameled and they're just extremely beautiful and dainty and just super sweet. 
Edwardian era, I want to guess. Kilgore iron. I might take that cast iron pedestal safe for the dollhouse and put up the Kilgore iron set there. Um, is that shark shell, shark shell coral? It's not right. Uh, angel skin coral, I think is what it's called, the pink and white. More gold pieces. That set of clear beads, they're glass, and they're on a, four, they're on a gold uh, gold clasp, so when you hold them, they're just phenomenally much better quality than what you'd expect. Masonic, fraternal, guy type stuff, some military pins in there. A couple of nice pieces here. I love this little miniature hand fan. I am not sure what this chair stool is for, but it looks very deliberate. And it looks like it's 1890s, 1900. So we got a, quite a few pictures on the website of it. And uh, hopefully you all can figure it out. These are pretty cool. Not sure what exactly they're for. Oops, be careful, Jason. Uh, just close it, open it back up. This is not a single-handed type of deal. As you can see, they just fold out. It's supposed to lay flat against the wall. They can close up or lay down flat. Sterling, these are cool. These were given as a gift from the office of the mayor, Jim Kelly, to Mayor H. O. Bartle, Kansas City Commission. So, kind of a neat thing. Sterling, these are beautiful boxes. Little cherubs on them. More amber glass. Love the string holder. How many antique glass, amber glass string holders have you seen lately? Not many. This is a cool piece. Cigar cutter. Check out his tail. Lifts up. Cut it right there. Miniature brass sticks, ink wells, little figural pieces. Candle holders. Christmas tree candle holders. A couple of them are cracked, but uh, pretty hard to find anyway. I'm not sure who made this glass. They're all the same color, quality, style. We'll sell them as a group. High quality, great color. Check out the little miniature pieces up here. You know, they're just tiny, 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 and that's a, that's a good old pieces to me. Beautiful cut glass lamp. Sterling, 49 ounces. Troy in the set of 12. You know, this bowl here is 4. That one's 6. Waterford, another little miniature piece of furniture. Love the little purple glass pieces, amethyst. Ekra agate. These are cool. Another cutter, another cigar cutter. Or a primitive crude one. Restraints. Peking glass, pretty wonderful. Ooh, the Clark's Tea Berry gum stand. Great Vaseline color. Oh, the uh, silhouette there is pretty great. I think it's 1902. It's actually signed and dated. One of the best pieces of Victorian accessories I've ever seen, or had for years anyway. Beautiful, great color. Love the embroidery work on there. Nice syrup pitcher. Great little marble top table. Waterford lamp. Little collection of molds will sell as a group. Nice little group of them there. More drawers. Kansas City Breweries is pretty cool. A couple things up high just because we could and we kind of needed to. These are much better than average coffee mills. This piece is called the Herald Smoked Sardine Book Tin. Really sweet. Some tin. Love the uh, overlaid amber bottles. A little Native American stuff. I think that's native. It's either native or scrimshaw, which is still a very uh, similar type thing. Miniature stool, more drawers. Here's a great little box. And look at that. Just Oh, look at those dovetails on the tray, even. I mean, good lord. That's going to be 1780s, 1820s if it's a day. Look at the wear in the corners. Square nails for the whole base on, a little padded feet. Fun auction, folks. A lot of little mini irons. This is a great little piece of stoneware from St. Louis. I don't have much stoneware, but uh, St. Louis piece there. And I'm sure these two have their, you know, everything. They say everything but Red Wing on them, so. Great. Love the uh, little grouping there that was hanging in the kitchen. That's exactly how we'll sell it. No signature on the painting. 
love the spatula or the slider. This is a great old iron piece dated 1870. Wonderful music cabinet. Make sure you turn the handle, it does have a locking mechanism on there. Never seen a little plateau with the porcelain insert. Amber glass con condiment set. Some odds and ends and a few boxes of costume jewelry. Of which there's some really wonderful pieces. Check out that beautiful rhinestone brooch. I think this, yeah, this one here is glass. And that bracelet. Box of copper. All kinds of these beautiful beads. So, folks, that's the auction. Three videos worth, and I think every one of them is, neither one of them are too short or too long. Hopefully, I got the timing just right on them for you. It's going to be a fun auction. Outstanding items all the way throughout. Uh, we sold the housewares at the house, obviously. We're going to try and do something different this auction. We're also going to have a video camera set up running right on the big screen with. Uh, showing exactly what we're selling as far as the smalls and jewelry is concerned so you'll be able to tell better from the back of the room what we're selling hopefully it'll alleviate some of the crush up front um, and when we're selling you know, these little porcelain dolls it's hard to, hard to say which one we're selling and uh, make it a little bit easier to do that and let everybody know what we're doing so that's the plan, I haven't got the video camera yet but uh, i got the weekend to get that figured out Thanks a lot. See you on Tuesday. Have a great weekend. I think uh, New York's going to win by four. I think Mizzou's going to win by six. And uh, we'll see if I'm right this weekend.